Okay, so we are in Fresh Market and we are gonna go from the store to the stove today. So we're gonna be making shrimp po' boys. Now I am over in the produce section here in Fresh Market. I have my family with me tagging along because I'm a pain in the ass. Say hello everyone. Nobody cares. We are gonna get some lettuce because shrimp po' boys have lettuce and tomato. So we have green leaf lettuce, our red leaf lettuce, and our romaine lettuce. I like the red leaf because it's not as bitter as the green or the romaine, so that's what we're gonna go with today. Normally, your shrimp po' boy sandwich is gonna get a Cajun sauce on it. It's gonna have a little kick. It has a tiny bit of sweetness to it, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna do a grilled pineapple and jalapeno sauce to go on the po' boy, so we're gonna get the ingredients for that as well. get one of the big slicer tomatoes when you're picking out garlic you want to feel for the firmness of the garlic you shouldn't be able to smell your garlic until you crack it open so we've got our lettuce we've got our garlic we've got our tomato we're gonna pick out some jalapenos and we're gonna get a red pepper for our hot sauce when you're picking out a pepper you don't want it to be soft you want your pepper to be nice and firm you don't want it to have too many bruises when you pick out a jalapeno it's gonna be four to six inches in length. It's gonna have a nice sheen on it, nice and shiny. It's gonna be firm. And now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna get my pineapple. You wanna help me pick out the pineapple? Yeah! Yes! Let's wait our turn. What do you think makes a good pineapple? Look at those up there. Which one do you think is the best one? This one, let's yeah. take a look. It has the most spikes. It has the nice most spikes. And yellow. It's nice and yellow. Okay, it has so a when it's is it ripe when it's green or when it's yellow? Mm, yellow. Green. Uh. Okay, I think the ripest one that's up here is this one. That one. So now we are walking over to my favorite place in Fresh Market, the Fresh Meat Counter. Oh yeah. Sometimes when I make po' boys, I like to put a little crab meat on top, but we're not gonna do that today. Um, we're just gonna stick with the shrimp. Do you know when the shrimp po' boy originated, Nicole? No. No, the 1920s. The streetcar union went on strike um, because they were not cool with the negotiations that they had. And two of the streetcar operators that um, went on strike actually quit and opened a coffee shop. You like coffee? Yeah. Mommy, let me try coffee. Okay, so they opened a small coffee shop, and when they opened that small coffee shop, they told all the people that were on strike that whenever they wanted the meal, they could come there and eat for free. Now, whenever they would see those strikers walking toward them, they would say, hey, here come the po' boys. That's how they got the name of their sandwich, which is kind of messed up because you're gonna help me out and then you're gonna make fun of me. It is what it is. I'm gonna harass my deli lady here. We're gonna look at some shrimp. So I'm gonna get the wild caught because they are a nice size. You have your colossal shrimp back there, but you want the shrimp to stay on the sandwich. So. Okay, so I just wanna get a pound of the Carolina wild caught, please. Okay, so we have our shrimp. Now we are going to get our French bread. Look at this, yum. Delish. This is not the special French bread with the squared ends that they had back in the 1920s, but this is gonna do just fine for us. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops, you give it a squeeze. Give it a squeeze. It should okay. be full of air, mm. nice and soft. Crusty on the outside. Oh yeah. When you buy buttermilk, you want it to be cultured. So we've got some cultured buttermilk here. Perfect for dry, wet, dry batter. Okay, so now we're gonna get some olive oil because we're gonna need the olive oil for our sauce. You're probably gonna set an olive oil aisle and be like, uh, what is all of this? Lots of different things to choose from, but I'm gonna give you a quick guide. You wanna do extra virgin olive oil. It's much richer in texture, it's much richer in flavor, and it costs a little bit less. Color doesn't really matter. It says cold press right there on the bottle. Now what that means is when you press your olives to get the oil out, if you apply heat, 
you get more oil but it also dilutes the flavor it gets rid of the beautiful aroma that it has so you want to make sure that it's cold pressed when you get your olive oil we are done playing around in fresh market done done we have everything we need we're gonna go hit the checkout line and see what the damage is and um we are gonna take this stuff home and see how it comes out survived didn't we zoe we survived our first grocery store haul with a camera in our hand while people were looking at us strangely, but that's okay because we do it all for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.